Hey guys, what's up? It's Low for Low Nose here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. And today we got another Low Nose Quickie where you leave a comment down below requesting me to perform a quickie for you in three minutes or less. Yes, I know three minutes is kind of quick, but hey, give me a break. I am doing my best. All right, so today's quickie request is from the transplant helper and he asks, I'm more interested in how you got the timer on the screen. Well, that's not really a request, but I will take it as a challenge. So make sure you sit through the entire video because there is more than one way to do this. All right, timer on. Let's do this. Here we go. All right, so the first thing you want to do is create a blank video track on top of your video element. So right click, go to insert video track, and then go to media generators. And in the folder Vegas, you're going to pick legacy text. Now you can pick any one of these sample texts with the transparent background, bring it onto your blank track, erase our sample text, change our time from 10 seconds to three minutes because that's the example we're gonna to do today. Escape and then stretch the field to match the video element. Then you probably wanna find a plugin that will actually do the work for you. I have the new blue video essentials for time clock plugin. All I do is grab it and drag it onto our new transparent element. Choose your style, pick your time form as, resize, recolor, and set as fit, then set to countdown. Once it's set on the transparent element, then you can move it anywhere on your timeline where it will keep its time code. Don't have a plugin? Not a problem. Newer versions of Vegas has its own time code. Go to Media Generators, go to Hit Film Movie Essential Pack, go to Hit Film Time Code, drag it onto your empty timeline, and make sure you change the time to the time that you want. Ours is three minutes. Without doing that, your time clip will always keep on looping on the default time. Expand it to size, size it, place it, change the color if you like, keep or get rid of the background as you like, and then your time is set. Now you're asking me, wait a second, I want the numbers to go into reverse? Not a problem. Right click the clip, set as reverse, then you will see your numbers going from high to low. Now, what if you have an older version of Vegas? Let's use our three minute long transparent layout Erase our text, set our time, right click, go to media effects, and then select Vegas time code, add, okay, then select time, place it wherever you like. Now to get the time code going backward, right click the element, select velocity, and drag the line all the way down, and now you see your numbers going backwards. And then to get rid of the black bar behind the numbers, go to your track level, go to the hamburger button, go to compositing mode, then go to add, and that will remove the black bar. Now, if you really want to be ghetto about it, do a search for green screen countdown, rip the video by recording through OBS or YouTube downloader, bring it into Vegas, crop, chroma free, set it on the top track and reverse it if necessary. And you are done. And I am spent. Let me tell you something, guys. I'm exhausted after that quickie. You now know how to do a countdown timer on your videos. And if you really want to get good at it, go ahead, guys, teach someone else how to do it. I promise you'll become an expert when you do something like that. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead, leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this quickie or if you want to request a personal quickie for you from me. And also check me out on my social medias. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. May all your learning experiences be quickies. Catch you later, guys. Bye.